literal stick fencing here. Today what we're going to be doing is pulling a curve in with a V-mesh. Um, we started out, we've got a long pull here. We've got our temporary strut, our end strainers, and our strain right stretcher bar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two guys uh, down here pulling a little bit of the wire to get some of the slack out. And we'll do this all the way around the curve. All right, go ahead. And I'll find, come up here close. I'll find a good spot to put my staples where it can pull. So I'm going to go right here. You always do your top and your bottom. And you get them into just close to where they're touching. Now what our next step is, is we're going to skip a post. It's going to leave a gap probably two feet off that next post. And again, skip a post, go to your next post. We'll continue the same thing until we get to a straight stretch on our curve, after our curve. So what we've got is we've got our curve pulled, hand tight, and we're leaving these out. That way when we go to do our next pull, which is on a straight stretch, it's gonna pull, this staple's gonna, usually gonna end up around this area. And it doesn't take much to get this stuff tight. We're going to go down here to the next strut, which is down at the far end, and prepare to pull this straight line, which will pull our curve out. What Chicken's doing is putting our uh, strain right stretcher bar together. That way we can make our, our pull leading up to our curve. That's good chicken. So we've got just a little bit of tension on our fence. It ain't very much. 
we're gonna walk back up here to the curve and we're gonna communicate back to the guy on the stretcher board to pull until our staples or till we feel like our fence is tight enough around our curve. And then what we'll do is come back up to the curve and push in to the post that are not stapled. All right, Chicken, go ahead and tell him what he needs to do. Go on the pull it. Do your top first. Yeah. Keep going. Help him out, Turk. Now you can see we're starting to move our staples about a half inch from our end. Turk, right. do your bottom. Do your bottom. chicken I think it's probably gonna be tight enough so let's go ahead and you can tell how it's good how tight it's gonna get when you pull back put your body weight into it chicken so we're gonna walk all the way back up here to the start of our curve and we're gonna work toward our next pull point the reason we do that is when the wire is too tight at one of the post at the far end of your curve is too tight we just let back on our stretcher bar feels pretty good so now we're at a post that we left out from stapling and they're just going to push it in and staple it and what he'll do is double staple the first few up at the top just for extra protection this one was a post that already had staples in it, so it's already there. So each time that you push in, the fence is gonna get tighter. All right, chicken, staple all the way down. And again, I've only got four staples in here. He's going to come and staple that up. Push. And as you can tell, this fence is extremely tight. So what we want to do is we're going to go back down to the end and we're going to let loose of the top. That way we can get the fence to the post and be tight. We don't want it too tight, but we want it, we want it tight enough that it's, uh, your fence is going to be a high quality fence. So what I've done here is 
the bottom was a little bit loose and um, we went on ahead and, and done the top the top is is tight then we went back down loosen the top because it was extremely tight at the at the bottom of our uh, curve and uh, the bottom was just a little bit loose so we just took our stretcher board and, and tightened it at the bottom one time and what it's created is a nice tight fence at the curve and they'll go back down and staple these last few So as you can tell, we've got a really nice tight curve. So I like the double staple at the top uh, where the tension's the most. We got to hammer some of these in. This is this is the staple that I started out with. So we'll come back and hammer those in, uh, and we'll hammer some of these in as well. The uh, stock eight gun does really well. Uh, it sometimes has trouble. Um, when we're not up against the post, which is not a problem, and there's nothing wrong with the gun, it's just the safety feature that's holding us back from getting that steeple in sometimes. So if it looks like he's trying to struggle with it, it's just because we're so far off the fence. So as you can tell, this curve is nice and tight. It's not too tight where it's going to pull all the staples out, but it's tight enough to, to last uh, the lifetime of the at least the post so I hope this uh, video helps you guys on uh, stretching curves with V mesh V mesh is kind of a pain in the butt it doesn't like heels really well so you got to really manipulate uh, how you pull um, we'll take this temporary strut out the strain right stretcher board and the end strainers out and we're gonna go this big curve down here that goes around a gully. We're gonna go on the other side of it and we're gonna pull that whole curve right there on the outside, which the outside curves are very simple to pull. It's just uh, make sure that your fence is at the right height when you start to pull and put the proper tension on that you need for your fence, staple it up and you're ready to go. So we're gonna go down here and we're gonna pull more on the straight stretch you have a lot more tension on the curve than you do your straight stretch right now just due to the fact that we stayed off those posts and pushed back onto them and stapled them up which brought brought them at the proper tension that we need so I'm going to explain to you why I'm doing the temporary strut. Um, what we do is we start at our gate, which is where our main brace is, and we'll pull wire to where we think that we're going to have the best benefit, whether it's up a hill or down a hill. Uh, even tension is what we want with this V-mesh. It's extremely difficult to deal with, so uh, we're doing a leapfrog method. We pulled our curve. Well, we started at our gate, and then we pulled uh, to our curve and we've got one uh, temporary strut and one strain right and two chain uh, end strainers up there and that holds the tension from uh, that temporary strut to the main brace and then we come around the curve to our second pull and I've got extreme tension under my fence right now This is our temporary strut. It's just, I think, uh, maybe two and a half inch, 
tubing. I can't really recall what it is. This is an eight inch pipe that we cut off and uh, just, a, just a grade eight boat in there. Everything swivels. I was kind of worried when I built this that that swivel was gonna be a problem, but it actually is probably uh, the best thing I've ever built to help my fencing. And I've got extreme tension under it, like I said, and you can tell that this post is not pulling at all. I can stand on these chains. And it, nothing is moving. Since I've got tension under this, I'm going to go back up here and we're going to put one staple at the very top. I'm going to uh, have my fence row with the land. And then we'll go back with the stockade staple gun and staple up.